Hello everybody and welcome to my 20th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to go into for loops. So for loops are a really powerful part of any code and they just allow you to repeat code over and over and over again. So you can, as you can imagine, that's a really useful thing to be able to do because you can set a calculation off, and then you can just get it to do repeat a load of tasks for you. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is just type four, and that that just initialises that you, you're going to start wanting to loop your code, and then you're going to put need to put in a variable. So I'm just going to call my variable x and then equals 1 and then I want to make it go to 10 and then this so what this is going to saying is I want to loop for x equals 1 to x equals 10 and then at the end of my where I want the code to stop looping I just need to put next and then the variable name so next x so here we've got a code block that we can now use and whatever's in here is going to repeat itself so let's just put in message box and then I just put in x and so we're using the variable that we started off with at the beginning and let's just play this and I'll show you what happens so first of all it runs shows me a message box and the message the value of x is currently 1 and the next time it goes through it it actually adds 1 onto the value of x so what's important is when you're putting in a counter into here um, you need to make sure that it's an integer variable so if you're going to declare your variable beforehand which you probably should do just for the sake of efficiency of your program you need to make sure that it's an integer type and then you can use it as an integer type as you go on so I've used it in this message box just to come out with the number and then as we go through it's going to repeat it all the way up until x equals 10 and then it's going to stop so that is the basic concept of a message box you don't necessarily have to use the variable within it you can go message box hello and if we click press on that it's just going to come up with 10 lots of hello so as a sneaky little trick this is quite a good one if someone's left their computer unlocked at work this is one of my favorites and if you just put this on and just say something stupid about them um, kind of like and put it in a thousand times and they have to click it a thousand times before it will actually finish uh, if you are stuck in one the easiest way to get out of it is just to press the uh, control and pause break and then that's going to come up with the error because you've interrupted it and then you can just end it there and it's going to end the code for you same with anyone it does not, doesn't necessarily have to be a message box any code if you press control pause break it's going to stop and then and then you can carry it on and so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'm going to give you an example of how you'd use a for loop like this to loop through the elements within an array so thanks for listening if you're enjoying these tutorials please 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 subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial